Hey, Libra. What's going on, Libra? Happy Tuesday. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. All right, so let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with my Libras. It's been a minute, y'all. I miss you all. So let's see what's going on with you, Libra. All right. Do keep in mind, y'all, this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all you Libras out there. But if it does, please show fire some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. Or you guys can head over to my online store, mytearshavefeelmyheart.com. Okay, so let's see what's going on with a Libra at this time. I am doing a new spread. All right. We're going to see, um, we're going to pull some general energy and then we're going to pull six cards for love. All right. Or whatever comes out, comes out. Universe and spirit, please guide me through this reading for Libra. Please guide me through this reading for Libra. Universe and spirit, please guide me through this reading for Libra. Please guide me through this reading for Libra. Uh oh. So let's see. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on with you guys at the moment. What's going on with Libra? What's Libra's energy currently? Oh, Libra, what's going on with y'all? Okay, let's see. Let's something's all right. Let's see what you guys need to focus on. All right, and let's see who or what is coming toward you. Okay. Libra, what the hell is going on with y'all? Okay, it's like y'all are like Libra. Let's have a talk. First of all, y'all came up in reverse. This is y'all energy. And we have it with the high priestess in reverse, right? You're not using and following your intuition, right? But also just talking very negative, okay? And I don't like it, especially when it comes to your situation, especially when it comes to like a financial situation or a relationship or something that you want, right? And it's not going your way. And I feel like you're trying to be extremely positive about it, but you're being more negative than positive about it. And... I don't like that for you guys because now it's like i'm not saying it's going to be a missed opportunity but it could you know you guys can definitely turn this reading around you can definitely change and shift the energy but you guys are really upset or mad about something and it has to do with a financial situation okay um like i said i don't like that for you guys this also could even be a relationship too and I feel like you already know how this person is. For some of you guys, this is a karmic connection. I also feel like this relationship has struggled for years to get off the ground. It's not going anywhere. And you're making yourself even more mad and more upset by allowing this person to get to you when you know how this person is. So just needing to like release yourself or remove yourself from this situation altogether. But I feel like for some reason, you're still trying to find the good in this person or this situation and you're not making it fair for yourself okay for those of you that are not waiting for somebody to get their shit together come correct or whatever you do have love coming towards you but you don't even know if you trust that either it's like when it comes to love you're just like blah all right we got the two of cups two of swords we have the seven of swords there's trust issues and for some of you guys you just don't trust nobody no matter if it's an ex someone new is is there's a yeah okay so what are we going to do about it, Libra? We need to definitely shift and change its energy here. All right. Now, what you need to focus on, you need to gather and get some type of information. There's something you're going to find out that's going to make you happy. But it's when you get rid of all this negative energy that is around you. Or it could just be you, your thoughts, the things you're thinking, speaking, believing. You know, maybe like I said, maybe something just isn't unfolding in your life right now. And maybe you're trying to be positive but thinking the worst. There also could be some sadness and depression around you guys. 
okay so remember the tongue is very powerful all right so be careful the things that you're saying at this time libra but i do see a new beginning coming in for you okay for what you need to focus on but i feel like because you can't see the new beginning you're like this could be why you're in this energy right so let's definitely pull let's shuffle let's see what's going on and then we're gonna like i said we're gonna go into love There can also be a lot of gossip, a lot of rumors, people talking behind your back, all right? So that can be it too. It can be people talking about like your financial situation or something like that, but let's see. And I also want you guys to not trust and believe everything you hear. Somebody's been giving you guys some false information and I don't like it, okay? So let's see what's going on with my Libras. What's going on with Libra? I feel like you work too hard to get to get where you are at. Like you just you work too hard to get to get here. Let's see, Libra. What is the energy? What's going on with Libra? What's the energy around Libra? Why is this high priestess in reverse with this Queen of Swords in reverse? The Ten of Swords in reverse. So you're starting over, and I feel like something is out of your control. But if you may feel like the same problems and issues are coming back around, and they're not, and the problem is. Again, don't get mad when I say this, but you are cre creating those same problems and issues because you need to let this new beginning happen. Yes, three of swords, you're heartbroken over something, whether it's love, finances, all right, the three of pentacles, a relationship, it's something not working out for you. And I feel like you guys are just sitting in the three of swords. When we sit in our sadness and sorrow, it makes the situation worse. Yeah, we got to grieve. We got to get over it. We got to release it. Yeah, I get it. It's easier said than done. But when we sit in that energy for too long, and we talk about our, our shoulda, coulda, wouldas. It makes it harder for things to shift and change in our life. And some of you guys have people that are willing to work with you, help you, that want to support you, be there for you. For some of you guys, you guys have new love or someone that will come in that will want to build and have a relationship with you. But you feel like if it ain't this person, then you don't want it. If it ain't this job, you don't want it. If it ain't this amount of money, you don't want it. And you might not want to crawl before you walk. You may not want to start all over. But for some of you guys, that might be what you have to do. Okay? Because I'm going to tell you one thing about me, Fire. The last thing I'm going to do is sit and wait for anybody. I'm not going to sit around and wait for no money. I'm not going to sit around and wait for nobody. I don't care who it is, what it is. I'm going to figure something out and go around it. And I'm not saying that you guys won't do that, Libra. But honestly, for some of y'all, y'all are sitting around and waiting for someone. And you're waiting for them to come correct. You're waiting for them to stop breaking your heart. You're waiting for them to come in with the money, gifts, a commitment, love, all of that. Why? question mark i'm just trying to figure out why we have the four of swords the nine of cups saying this person has has had more than enough time to come in and make you happy they've had more than enough time to come in and change the situation okay you gave them more than enough time for some of y'all y'all haven't even been together for three months i mean for nine months or more okay it's been like y'all been broken up forever all right, and it's just time to move forward. Now, for some of you guys, you may have been in this situation financially or whatever you're going through in the last nine months, and I just feel like this is an energy that you are needing to work through and shift out of, Libra, all right, but not think so negative. See, look, as soon as you stop thinking so negative, night of wands, things are definitely going to change and shift for you, but I just feel like you're just in an energy that is taking you longer than normal to get out of and i feel like usually you're not in this energy or this kind of energy for long but i feel like right now you are and you don't know what to do maybe there's just too much going on at once and i do feel like you guys are feeling overwhelmed and you're like okay if i move this way then what if this happens if i go forward then what if something backfires or go this way or that way and i feel like it's not for you to think about i feel like you just need to do it i feel like you guys really really need to step out on faith you really, really do. All right. I feel like you guys really just need to trust whatever is going on so that whatever better is coming in, it's going to come in. Give me a message for Libra. Look, your heart chakra is blocked. And you can't do anything when the heart chakra is blocked, right? You have to be open to receive. The heart needs to be open in order to receive. Look, door to personal healing and happiness at the bottom, overall energy. And then we have angel of balance. So the angels are trying to bring in balance, they're trying to restore and heal heal you they're trying to bring happiness love balance money all of that stuff but look as soon as i said that look flipped over the door to value 
they're trying to bring the money, the love, the healing, everything, but they need you to take a step. They need you to help them. There could be a guide or somebody around you that's trying to help you, but you know, spirit guides are only going to give you that little push. They're not going to do the work for you. Okay. So let's see what's over here for what you guys need to focus on. There is a new beginning coming in, but I feel like because you guys can't see it, see, you're focusing on where you're at. You're focusing on what you're sitting on. You're focusing on the very moment. The present energy, which is not bad, but it's the four of pentacles. And I feel like because you don't know when something is going to shift and change is bothering you. Rather than you looking more into the situation, figuring things out, seeing if you can change the outcome. You're just sitting in this energy. And I don't really think that's like you, Libra. I feel like you guys usually are like good at figuring things out. Remember, you're the, the Libra skills. Like, you know how to balance things out. Seven of Cups, there's a lot on your mind. So I feel like you are trying to focus, but there's just too many things on your mind right now. And you can't wait for your ships to come in, right? You, you're ready to turn your back on everything that's going on in your life. You're like, I'm ready to turn my back on him, her, them, this, it, that. But mm, you guys are refusing to go down a new path. And that's what this is mainly about. So I feel like, Libra, we got to get you right. We got to get y'all together. Because if not, the universe is going to bring in the tower. And I feel like the last thing you want to do is have the universe bring in the tower. You do feel stuck and there's a, there is a stagnant energy around you that is stopping and blocking you from shifting into this new path. But I feel like in order for you, you got to, you, you, it's something needs to be let go of. You need to let go so that this new beginning can come in. It's like the universe won't allow you to go into this new beginning as long as you're holding on to the past or something old. Or if you're just holding on to like an outcome because you're not going to know the outcome right now. All right, so let's see who or what is coming towards you guys. We have the Two of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. So like I said, there's new love around you guys, but some of you guys are even suspicious about the new love. Some of you guys have a lot of people around you trying to get at you guys. Some of you guys have a secret or Meyer. It could be an earth sign, Toys, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody that's really into you. Somebody that's sweet, nice, a little bit younger. They're stable. It could be an Aquarius. They're like... Yeah, this is something that you wanted, something that you manifested, but I feel like you're pushing it away. Because like I said, either it's not that person or it's not the person you want it to be. Or it's just how you're feeling about life, finances, yourself, love, all together. So you guys could be pushing out something really good. Ace of, I mean, Page of Cups, yes. But this person, yeah, they're really nice. They're sweet. They're loving. They're nurturing. They care. They're supportive. They're stable. But you could be pushing this person out. Okay, so if I was you, I would be very, very careful, Libra, for those of you that are, you know, just met somebody new, because this can be a really good new beginning for you guys in love, but maybe you just don't see that right now because of the trust issues and the triggers and all the bullshit from the past and past relationships. Okay, so let's see. All right, so let's pull six cards. For love give me six messages for love for libra give me six messages for love for libra six messages for libra and love what we gonna do libra if we were live i would have been like let's figure this out what we gonna do libra what we gonna do give me six cards for libra and love Now, Libra, y'all do have somebody on your mind and they're coming back, but it's the star in reverse. They're still not healed. They're still not ready. They're still playing games and they're going to leave you taking on the responsibility. Mm -hmm. And they have you in a third party situation. It's, it's saying like whoever this person is, it's somebody that you need to stop stressing about. Spirit is tired of you. Look, spirit is tired of you, spirit is tired of you stressing over them. Okay? Spirit is tired of it. Spirit wants you to shift your energy away from their ass. Okay? So that real love, new love can come in or so that you can just be in a better place emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. Okay? So it's kind of like spirit is tired of you stressing over you know who. Alright? So let's see. Leave the... Uh... Give me some love messages for Libra. Love messages for Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libra. What's going on with Libra? 
in love. Give me four messages for Libra. So we got getting clarity, all right? So you guys are getting some type of clarity. Maybe you guys are starting to see things clearly or see through somebody's lives. Being real with yourself and accepting some type of truth. And I feel like that's what it is too, Libra. It's time for you to see the situation for what it really is. We have awakening, yes, okay? Wake up, Libra. So y'all could be going through some type of spiritual awakening as well. Opening of the heart, spiritual activation. Some of you guys could be attracting a twin flame connection or in one. We have illusion. Can't see clearly. Living only on dreams. Believe in their lies. So what I'm getting here, though, Libra, is like some of you guys are not on a twin flame journey. But some of you guys, you guys are getting clarity and you know this person is lying. You know they're not being honest. And then it's like that's what you're waking up to and realizing. But then it's like you wake up and you realize that. But then at the same time, you allow this person to put you in some type of illusion. So we are like you don't believe their lies, but then you believe the lies. You see clearly, but then you can't see clearly. You know? So let's see. Messages for Libra. Give me one more message for Libra. We have partying. Staying out all night. In it for a good time. Wants to play the field. So this person also could be... You know, maybe wanting to act young, maybe wanting to go out, maybe wanting to drink, maybe wanting to smoke, hang out with their friends, do their thing, and maybe you want more, and they're just not willing to give you that or not able to give you that right now. Somebody is still wanting to party or be young or act young or still wanting to do their thing. And Let's see. Who is this person that is coming back, that Libra, that's going to come back towards Libra? Who is this person coming back towards Libra? Yeah, because I feel like they are coming back, but please don't let them waste your time. Okay. Yes, yeah, look, somebody that's still not ready. Somebody that you haven't talked to in a while. And this is the person that you've been waiting to hear from. So the person you've been waiting to hear from is about to reach out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The per I'll just say the person on your mind is about to reach out. You know, whoever is on your mind, they're about to reach out. It is kind of like, I kind of, I feel like in this case, it's like the person in your mind is about to reach out. Yes, but I feel like spirit doesn't want you to answer the call. Not with this energy here. Spirit is like, no, walk away. Three of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of like it's it's taken them this long, you know. Like Spirit is like, no, you've been hurting for way too long. So let's see. The Moon and they're they like the Page of Wands. Yeah, I do feel like there's a connection. I do see the connection, but I'm with Spirit. Don't answer the call. It may not go nowhere. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be any sign of. A crazy but Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but don't let this person bring you down. Y'all are y'all are trying to move forward. See, look, still third party situation, Queen of Wands reverse. And also Queen of Wands reverse can be them pushing you to the edge. We got the Empress here. Somebody's pregnant. Look, see, three of cups reverse. For some of you, Libra, they had a baby on you, like they had a baby with somebody else, and they're back and forth in that situation with you and the person but for some of you guys you're going to find out about a pregnancy libra you are you're going to find out you're pregnant or are you going to find out that they got somebody pregnant and the crazy thing is that might not even that might not even be the last straw for y'all some of y'all are still gonna try to figure it out you know i'm not judging nobody no but I just feel like this person's already put you through enough. So is it fair for them to come back in your life after not talking to you for so long? Like, hey, yeah, what's going on, Libra? I was like, I miss you. By the way, I got somebody pregnant. I don't know. Let me see this eight of pentacles is here. Five of pentacles. Yep, see, you're fighting for for this, or you're fighting for something. Like, some of you guys are fighting for your family. You want your family back, and I get that. You do. You want your family back, and you're willing to put up a fight. You're willing to compromise. You're willing to give in, you know, but I feel like this, Libra, you got to, well, I, I'll just say this. You got to ask yourself, are they willing to fight 
as much as you are willing to fight? Are they willing to, whatever you're willing to do, are they willing to do it? Because it doesn't seem like they are willing to do it on their end. But on your end, you are. And that's where I feel like it's not fair. We also have Saturn here with the Three of Wands. Like I said, Spirit, Universe, Saturn, they all want you to turn your back on this person in this situation. Yeah, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Is this going to piss you off? It's going to make you mad. Because you feel like you've already sacrificed and compromised and gave in and did so much. And you're still going to be doing that and then still being left hurt, sad, and regret. And I don't want that for you. So I don't hope, I hope you guys don't think that this reading is like, I don't, I hope I'm not coming off rude. It's just, you guys know I'm very blunt and this is just how I speak. But like, just, cause I don't know how I said it, how it came out, but Libra, no, mm -mm, no. Like if you were my closest friend or somebody I knew Percy, I'd be like, no. You know, like, even as a friend, I would walk you through this. I wouldn't even give up with you. I would I would definitely help you fight through this to go towards better. Because it's like, I just feel like this person at this point is just bringing y'all down. And y'all just, y'all have so much love for this person. Like, you you have so much love for them. You want a family. You want a, you're fighting for your family, for your children. You want things to be right. You're like, we got history. I invested time, energy, money, years. And I get that. But... They're not, the energy is not reciprocated. We got the sun in reverse. I just don't want them to bring you down. Temperance is saying that, you know, eventually you will heal and things will come together for you. As far as like what you're going to do with this person. But on another note, as far as like getting what you want out of this person in this situation, I just don't think it's going to happen right now. I just don't. Some of you guys are just even stopping yourselves from like moving, relocating, doing things differently. Yeah, because you guys are focused on them. Why? That's don't miss out on money and opportunity for them, cause then you're gonna regret that too. Don't miss out on an opportunity for them when they're not missing out on opportunities for you guys. You guys definitely had to have an opportunity coming in. It's screaming at you guys. Yeah, and it's five of pentacles reverse. But then it's like you know for sure if you take this opportunity, you have to really move on from this person in this relationship. Or you guys will just be further apart. But I feel like even though for some of you guys you're not even together. It's like you are apart. So it's like, wow, you guys won't be in the same city or state. I don't know. But I just feel like you should miss out on opportunities or you shouldn't stop or block yourself from going towards things when they aren't even, I'm not going to say they're not thinking about you, but they're not considering your feelings. And that's what sucks. And that's what I don't like about it. That's what I don't like for you is that they're not considering your feelings. They're not considering how Libra feels. All right, so let's pull some messages. Let's pull some love messages. We have turbulence. Heal unresolved conflicts with kindness, not anger. So some of you guys have the Queen of Swords came out in reverse twice. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of hurt, right? So it's saying like you guys need to take a different approach. But I feel like just removing them from your energy first would definitely help that. Okay, let's see. We have consumed yeah see and you guys are just overwhelmed there's no communication coming in you want this person to reach out we have hidden thorns look beyond the romance to discern true love and intentions so again like i said i feel like you know how rose butch how the thorns how they hurt don't let this situation keep poking at you keep sticking at you all right don't let it keep doing that to you guys let's pull some additional love messages Messages for Libra. I feel like y'all didn't came too far to let this happen. It says, I love you. We have, should I stay or go? Well, should I stay or leave? And so I feel like that's the energy you're in right now. Because you still love this person. And it says, I'm not giving up. So I feel like that's you, Libra, not giving up on someone. Excuse me. We have social media, Instagram, trying to make you jealous. So somebody is trying to purposely make you jealous. I don't know if you went on their page, if you read their comments, but if not, you're gonna see something on social media, on their Instagram, or something like that, and it might make you jealous, or make me, or it might make you feel some type of way. All right, let's see messages for Libra. 
we have letting go. So maybe you are going to get to a point where you feel free, like you're going to let go and feel free, feel better. We have ignoring, not understanding each other, not getting along, not speaking or talking. So maybe after a reconnection, you're going to realize like, nah, <laughs> oh, excuse me, I need to let this go. And we have drama. So petty arguments, wanting to be with you, rushing, give me time no one else so i just feel like maybe that is what it is too there could just be like some drama still all right and you guys are needing to use and follow your intuition but remember when the queen of swords is in reverse in the high priestess in reverse you're not using your intuition you're not thinking clearly all right are you just scattered you're all over the place all right so let's pull some what's the tea cards let's see what's the tea for libra what's the tea for libra now this could be the relationship or things that's just going on in your life right now okay let's see what's going on with the libra Ooh, i caught that facts no facts never has all the facts make shit up makes shit up and lies so it could be a situation where you have the facts but then they're like no you don't have the facts or they come up with something else or a lie to make you feel like the information you have is wrong. Or you guys could be looking for facts, looking for information. Trash, throwing away, getting rid of, tossing out. So somebody could be burning evidence, throwing the evidence away, putting stuff in the trash before you find it or get to it. We have obsessive lover, dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive, karmic. So this person could be an obsessive lover. Now, one of you guys think the other person is just extra and does too much. And one of you guys feel like, okay, I know you love me. I know you care about me. But you're just, you're doing, you're doing way too much. Somebody is trying to control the connection, the relationship. We have happiness haters. So somebody doesn't want to see y'all together. We have too busy winning. And we have caution. So there could be some haters around you guys. There could be somebody in your energy that doesn't want to see you guys win. And I mean, or doesn't want to see you win because this it says too busy winning. Let's see. Yeah, you're you've been through a lot, and you're about to reach a level of success. And there's gonna be people that are not gonna like that. You've been through a lot, and you're about to be rewarded, or you're about to win at something, and people aren't gonna like that. A wolf in sheep's clothing. So somebody around you guys is fake. We have sick. So somebody could have fake like they're sick. We have love triangle. This also is like babysitting, doctor's visits. We got hustling, chasing. So somebody is chasing their money right now. Somebody is chasing their bag, chasing their money, or trying to get their money up. And then somebody is trying to compare themselves to a third party, and I don't think that's fair. And if you are trying to do that, Libra, I feel like it's not worth it. Because somebody, so, okay, if, it, if there's a third party, somebody is making more money than the other person, or somebody... It's stable, not your person. It, it'll be between you and the other female, or if you're a male, you between the other male. And somebody is trying to like get to where that other person is, or trying to impress. But at the end of the day, like I would do it for myself. Look how your person did you. So I don't know. We have caught up finding evidence, getting caught cheating. So because it's like, say for example, Libra, if you found out that this person has like a house and a brand new car. And say you have an apartment, you have a house, I mean, you have a car, you have your job, and your life is fine, and nothing's wrong with that, because there's nothing wrong with houses, apartment versus this. Everybody has their preference, right? And it can be, and I'm just saying this as an example, I'm not saying you're doing this, but this can be where, you know, you might feel some type of way about, okay, well, I'm about to go get me a house now, but that's not going to change the situation. It's not going to change the situation. They're still going to be the same way. They're still going to have you in this third party. They're still going to act a fool and a clown. So I feel like if you're chasing your money or getting to your bag or trying to hustle your money up and doing what you're doing, do it for you and not definitely not for them. Okay? Somebody is spying on you guys on social media or you guys can be spying on somebody on social media. Okay? Through some type of fake account. Okay? But when I say this reading shocked me, Libra, because y'all readings have been so good and lovely and consistent lately to this. I don't know what's going on. All right, Libra. So, yeah, this is what I got for you guys. All righty. If it resonated, please do show some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys love to book, y'all already know where to find me. Fireintuition.com. All right, Libra.
look don't don't leave the reading upset or sad don't be mad y'all know i love y'all shit happens and this is just a phase or a cycle that y'all are in or going through and this too shall pass and it will shift and y'all will be out of this energy soon all righty i love you guys bye libra